Hey guys, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru. So in this module or this section of, of the course, we are going to get into looking at dependency injection in Spring. So dependency injection is really a, a very core component of Spring and how Spring works. Spring does the whole in, inversion of control, meaning that it's going to take your dependent objects and manage them for you and figure out how to wire up your a application. So through this mechanism is what allows Springs to run in development with an H2 database, then deploy to production and run on Oracle because you're going to wire in different components at runtime. We're going to start off, I'm going to step you through a real simple example of a uh, little hello world again, using dependency injection in Spring. So previously we just looked at getting a, a bean from Spring. Now we're going to actually inject a service component into a class and, and run that and get the injected bean. So we'll see how Spring itself wires up these things and then we can access that component at runtime. So and that's what inversion of control is all about. Is how the spring is the framework itself is controlling which pieces get pulled together and wired into your application. And then we're going to move into actually controlling that. Again, we're going to be continuing the hello world example. I'm going to use some different languages so we can show how we can select different beans to be wired together. And we'll also talk about spring profiles using profiles control gets wired together and also the default profile. A lot of uh, veteran Spring developers uh, really don't understand the default profile and what it's out there. It gives you a, a default setting if you don't set up any active profiles. These beans will be wired in by default, kind of a handy tool within the Spring framework. Again, this uh, module is just to help you get your feet wet and start you visualizing how Spring and, and inversion control is working with dependency injection and show you some best practices where you are using an interface and not a hard, hard class. So you can take take these components and swap them out. So your classes that have dependent objects on them are truly decoupled from those classes, uh, the actual hard implementation of those classes. So like a controller wouldn't care if you're talking to an Oracle database or a MySQL database. It, it shouldn't be getting a, a data database connection. That should be done downstream. And Spring will provide it a service that is already wired for whatever configuration it needs. Again, we're just getting our feet wet in this module. We're going to step through some real simple examples, but you'll be able to see how Spring and the tools within Spring allow you to wire up different components at runtime using inversion of control.